I just couldn't pass this one up. And we're going to take a look next on Mark's Lionel Trains. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. Hats off to the Menards Creative Department for this one because this is pretty darn cool and I just couldn't pass it up. This is the Larson Lanes Bowling Alley and it looks really, really cool in uh, O-Gage. So I definitely had to uh, take a look at this and we're gonna check it out now uh, uh, for sure. This is uh, box number 124 of 2028, I guess, uh, so. Uh, that's a kind of a fair, fairly low number of these. I know this is a hot item because they sold a hundred of them the first day and they had the little fire on the on the uh, internet website there on Menards and uh, yeah, it looked really cool. So let's uh, open this up and take a look. It's a really big box. So I have a feeling this is probably about Schneider size. So let's open it up and take a look. Oh, it is pretty big. Okay, cool, awesome. Wow, look at that, that is uh, relatively large. Okay, this will be for my next layout. I don't have room for it on this layout for sure. So let's get these plastic protective pieces out of there. Everyone knows how much I appreciate those. And oh, cool, there it is. First look at it, get this box out of the way. And there's your first look at it in the box. It has some uh, interesting windows that we're gonna take a look at uh, as well. Uh, I'm sure that this uh, has the, yes, it does have the under the layout plug, so that's very important. And it has lots of staples. So I'm going to uh, take out some staples and we're gonna take a look further. All right, I have all the staples taken out of there. I'm going to, I leave uh, one side of the staples in so it opens like a hinge. Uh, I am going to, like I said, have to uh, pack this up and uh, move it. Now, let's see how they have this packaged in there. Uh, oh, it just lifts out. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome. Good. I don't have to fight with it. Okay, perfect. It doesn't have any any lips in the packaging any that hold it in or anything. So, okay, there's our first look out of the, the box. That's the front door. You have a window looking in. You have the... The car there, two uh, figures, Jack there. Uh, the side, that's really cool. And this is not just a sticker. This is definitely embossed into the side of the building and it really looks awesome. And you have the back is pretty plain. You have your plug there for the above layout and you have your pigtail for under the layout use like I mentioned earlier. You have a clear glass here, which we'll talk about in a minute. And it has a clear roof, which we'll also talk about. So let's get some this over to a temporary spot in the layout I have picked out and get some power to it. And there's your first look at Lamont Lanes on the layout. It looks really, really cool, I must say. I have uh, two of the uh, vehicles that Menards is also offering uh, of the, uh, the new cars that they've got out. I got the blue one and the red one. So let's uh, add some power. Put the power on here, and I've had some bad luck with Winard's buildings lately, so hopefully this one works. And we'll plug it in, and there it goes. Okay, and there's your first look at it with power. Let me turn this. All right, that looks really, really cool. It's got the uh, chase light pattern there on the uh, bowling alley lanes, which looks kind of interesting. It has uh, blue lights, kind of like the Taco Bell lights there and uh, two bowling pins at the entrance. I did notice that this bowling pin here is a little bit off center, but that's okay. I don't think anybody's really gonna notice, so. But this looks really cool. Let's take a look at this other side. And there's a view looking at that side window. Uh, speaking of this side window, you can see that it's relatively large on the building there. I think this is designed uh, to be displayed on the edge of a layout so uh, visitors can look in and watch the action. I think that's a really cool idea from Menards. And it even has the uh, boards 
on top by the roof there. Uh, and you can see the glass is relatively dirty. It has some uh, construction, uh, assembly, water, something or another, and it doesn't look real good. So the view is not good. I'm going to experiment to see if we can clean that off. Hopefully it's on the outside of the building and not the inside. Pretty cool. It's got little bowl, bowling balls there. Uh, the bowling pins at the end are just uh, pictures of the bowling pins, so. And looking down on the roof of the building, you can see what I was talking about, those little scores that they have on the ceiling is pretty cool. Uh, the top glass panel is really clean, so that's not an issue. Um, you can see the look through the glass view. I think Menards is doing this is a good idea because you can view it better. Um, with this glass roof, if you don't really like this glass, you can use this black um, board or uh, poster board from Menards, or not Menards, you might be able to get it in Menards, but Walmart has this, and you can probably cut a square piece. This is, There's a lip around here that the square piece uh, of this poster board uh, would fit. So you can probably close that off if you choose to have more of a, a, a black, uh, realistic looking roof. So let's move down here and look at the front window. There you can see the bowling pins are, are just folded cardboard pictures that look like bowling pins. They're not actual. I think it'd really look cool if they had little bowling pins down there, but you know, <laughs> what do you want for, yeah, that's, that's uh, maybe too much to ask. And you can see the little bowler guy bowling, and you got Jack there. So this is a really cool building. I think this is going to really look awesome on anybody's layout. So I, I definitely think that the Menards design team has a real winner here, judging from how many they sold the first day. So oh, the little paneling on the back wall is really nice, too. So, yeah, I don't know if you can get this building apart to make any alterations or add any people to look underneath and see if there's any screws or anything, but you can investigate that, but it's a really nice building. So thank you very much for watching this quick little reveal of the Lamont Lanes Menards brand new building. It is really cool. So I think I'm gonna run the trains a little bit, say welcome to all the new subscribers, that's for sure. Thanks for, for uh, joining the channel. We are definitely uh, with Menards coming out with all these cool buildings. They got some pre-orders from Lionel coming in, so we got plenty to look at, that's for sure. I just noticed that the tail lights on the car light up. How cool is that? And the headlights. There's the view of the headlights. Boy, does that look good. That is cool. Menard's brand new Lamont Lanes. $79.99. You can get it online. I'm sure this will be in store for Christmas. That's for sure. Alrighty. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Mark's Lionel Trains. Thank you all the new subscribers. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for your thumbs up. And thank you very much for watching. I'm going to run the trains a little bit and have some fun.